Hi friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Hey, Megan, do my eyes look weird to you? Um, no, they look the same as they always do. Why do you ask? A lady at church said that I have my dad's eyes, but if I have my dad's eyes, where did my eyes go? And how can my dad see if I have his eyes? <laughs> ah, I think, I think she meant that your eyes look like your dad's eyes. She didn't really mean that your dad's eyes are in your head. Oh, good. Why did she say that? <laughs> That's something people say when one family member looks or acts like another family member. They may say you sound like your mom or walk like your dad. Hey, that reminds me of today's Bible story. It does? How? Today's Bible story is about when Jesus was born. Jesus came to show people what God is like. Jesus is exactly like God the Father. Listen to the story. John was one of Jesus' disciples. After Jesus went back to heaven, John wrote to tell people about Jesus. John called Jesus the Word. John said, the Word was there in the beginning before the world even began. The Word has always been with God and the Word is God. When God spoke to create the world, all things were created through the Word. John was saying all these things about Jesus. John wrote that God sent a man named John the Baptist to get people ready for Jesus. John the Baptist told people about Jesus so they would believe he is God's son. People did not know who Jesus was when he came into the world. He was born in Bethlehem to a young woman named Mary. An angel told shepherds about Jesus' birth. The angel said, I have good news for you. Today, a Savior is born. He is the Messiah God promised. Jesus grew up and his own people did not welcome him or love him. But everyone who did welcome him and love him, he invited them to be part of God's family, to be children of God. What good news! Jesus is the Word who became a human and lived on earth. People saw His glory as the one and only Son of God. Long ago, God gave people the law through Moses, but now He has given us grace and truth through Jesus. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus, God's one and only Son, has shown us what God is like. Jesus was born. This was very good news. Jesus was not like other babies. Jesus is God's son. God sent Jesus to earth from heaven. Jesus came into the world to show us what God is like. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's so good to see you again. Well, today we're gonna talk about Christmas just a little bit more. Do you remember how God got here? God sent his son, Jesus, to be born in a stable. Mary laid him in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. And that's how God sent his one and only son to us, to save us, to be our savior. As Jesus got older, God sent another person. His name was John the Baptist. John the Baptist came to prepare the way for Jesus. He was actually J Jesus' cousin. You can see him right here. He dressed in, in uh, rough clothing. He ate kind of weird things too. This is what he ate. You're not gonna believe it. John the Baptist ate grasshoppers and wild honey. Does that sound good to you? I don't think it does, but that's what he ate. And John was there for a very special reason, to prepare the way for Jesus. And as you can see, Jesus came right here. And John was told everybody, this is Jesus, God's own son. Before, long, long ago, God sent the laws 
through Moses. These are called the Ten Commandments. As you can see right here, there's ten laws that Moses got from God. and God wrote them on stone tablets for the people to live. But now, instead of these laws, exactly all these things, now we get grace and truth through Jesus Christ. So we are so excited that Jesus came as a little baby in the manger, but he didn't stay a baby. He got big and he came and he told everybody all about God. No one has ever seen God, but when we see Jesus' life, then we can know what God is like. So remember these things that we've learned today and have a wonderful week. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I.